if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new it's a girl my sister and i'm back with another video oh 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 so in today's video i wanted to do a quick little nice short video potentially i'm featuring some of mima mitchell's products he has recently dropped his bronzers and i'm so excited for because you know guys i love me some bronzers especially in this time of year well all year round let's be real i've heard so many good things about his makeup products Apparently his eyeshadows are literally to die for. You guys know me, I'm not really an eyeshadow person. So the price point for me is a little bit too steep, girl. So maybe I will get one when hopefully he has a sale. So his iconic product is the blushes. And I had to get one because you guys know I do love me some blush. So I had to get one. And he pretty much wanted to stick to the whole iconic theme of the blushes and came up with the bronzers. I might say blushes, you know, because me can't keep saying blush. Me got to say blush. Yeah, I was actually really amazed and I like the fact that he wanted to try and make this line all inclusive And he was honest to say the two hardest shades to formulate was the palest one and the deep darkest one Because you guys know when it comes to deep dark bronzers, they end up looking like contours So the bronzer retails for £16 um, It's rich, pigmented and versatile formulation in eight shades It's got an easy application, buildable um, formula, blurred focus finish and has this secret blur technology so the shade that i got because to be honest i could have got two shades i picked up the shade shade and slade i really like his names and shade and slade is the oh okay it's the second darkest one so i was actually in between blend and snatch which is the third darkest one but i end up getting shade and slay so this is what the packaging looks like so it comes in an iconic neon packaging and it still says blush but the word bronzer is underneath it Mm. okay oh the color looks nice this is actually the first time me taking out the packaging the color looks nice really like that color okay she's definitely for the girls she's definitely for the melanin just for reference because i pretty much got my base on i am using the l'oreal infallible foundation this is in the shade 375 deep amber um concealer i'm using the elf camo 16 hour concealer in the shade deep chestnut and then for my setting powder i've got the black opal setting powder in the shade neutral light so that is pretty much what i've got on that face i think i'm going to bronze first and then add the blush afterwards mm -hmm. like a typical wand but slightly slanted which looks nice and nifty the shade oh yes that shade sis Oh, you mad. Now, you guys know my hands are very light compared to the rest of my body. But that shade, oh, yeah. And it feels so nice and creamy. Love it. I'm going to swatch some other cream bronzers that I have in my collection to give you guys a little comparison. Once again, this is the blush. I do use this concealer. Not technically a bronzer, but it's from e.l.f. And it's the Camo Hydrating Concealer in the shade Rich Ebony. Very, very similar. This one's probably slightly lighter in shade. So this is the Oma Beauty um, Sculpt and Strobe Bronzer in the shade number three, which I believe is brown sugar, which looks like so. I'm definitely going to give you guys more of a close-up as well. Another product that's not technically a bronzer, but I treat it as a cream bronzer, is the Fast Base Foundation Stick from Revolution. I think they're only like five or six pounds. I've got the deepest, darkest shade, which is F18. S. like, can you see? These tones, yeah make me so happy like so the cream bronzer from fenty beauty and um, this is the shade chocolate um but this is what she looks like i did not swatch that good at all but the Vanessa marix one this is the cream to powder bronzer in the shade number three deep oh she's thick girl every single time i swatch her i'm just like oh she's thick girl but that's what she looks like and then lastly which was being added to my collection as of recent um, it's the Tanto from Huda Beauty in the shade tan, but these are the shades. So I'm gonna come a little bit closer I'm gonna have to stand in front of my arm because my camera is just not focusing, but these are all the swatches Please excuse that swatch. I don't know what happened off the back with these swatches I definitely made the right choice of getting shade and slay this one, but she is giving me the warmth She is giving me, you know, the depth and the color girl like I am actually really impressed So I'm gonna apply for a little bit because I have heard that these formulas are quite pigmented so I'm just going to apply little dots like 
so I'm gonna apply dots for now because I'm scared I'm just gonna get my contour queen brush from Beauty Bay and start blending this out Ooh. okay wow that blended out so flawlessly without no effort no wait yeah that yeah that blended out like a dream that definitely oh my gosh the way i'm getting all these spots on my face lord have mercy and no smell as well wow okay i'm gonna dab that hopefully you can see it better because my window is this way now i might go a little bit heavy and whenever I tend to do these videos like bronzes and blushes, some sometimes people come for me and be like, you've applied too much, but I deliberately apply a lot when I'm reviewing blushes and bronzes because I want you guys to see. Like I want you guys to see it basically. So um yeah, but that is nice. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Not like I need more, but I just wanna see what the build up is like and I think I'm gonna apply a little bit on my nose even though I don't tend to cream contour my nose I rather just whenever I contour my nose I would just use like a powder bronzer Let me just blend this out again yeah that just melts it literally just melts into the skin It's not as warm as I expected it to be. Then again, you can use like a warmer powdered like bronzer if you do want more of that warmth. So I would definitely say this is more neutral. I wouldn't say this is like warm, warm. I'm gonna try out the blush. I wanted to get cherry cola, but then I end up getting where's the SPF? And now the only thing is that the blushes retails for 14 pounds where the bronzers for 16 pounds which i don't know why because they're in the same packaging like literally identical they've got the same amount of products in there so i don't know why there's a two pound difference maybe it's the formula I don't, i'm not really too sure but i thought that they would literally be the same price and apparently these blushes are very pigmented and you guys know i'm very heavy-handed so i'm hoping to not go crazy oh wow yeah that is an orange like girl you can't get more orange than that so these dries down to a satin powder matte finish so for swatches purposes to see if there's other shades that i have in my collection that are similar i end up picking up these three so obviously this is like one of my favorite ones that i talk about pretty much all the time from nyx and this is in the shade almost famous okay so where's the SPF is definitely more deeper. I've got the NARS Exhibit A and that what it looks like. Oh yes, yeah. so Exhibit A is definitely got a little bit more red in comparison to these two. Blush and this is a shade just for fun. Once again, that sort of retro orange. So that's what the LA Girl looks like. And then lastly, I've got the shade Jaded from the XX Revolution line which looks like so. I am not complaining. Can anyone have chat for me with these shades? Can you even have chat for me? Once again, we're gonna do the little dot, dot, dot because I don't want this to go left. Okay, six little small dots. I'm gonna use my Revolution Pro Stipping Brush. Listen, I cleaned this brush yesterday. I've only used it once, so please don't judge me about the bristles, but. <laughs> okay first initial reaction you don't need to allow this to sit on your face that long it like what you would do with the bronzer because as soon as you apply it's like the pigment is there so you don't need this to rest it is very pigment i put six small dots on my face and you guys know i'm heavy handed with my blushes so i will literally just tap 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 tap, tap like go crazy but i literally apply six small dots and look at that i wonder okay let me just see if i could diffuse this with just like my damp sponge oh my god jeez louise okay so with the damp sponge it has like toned it down it definitely does have a matte finish so if you're looking for that sort of like glowing lip from within dewy look like what the fenty beauty cream blushes does this is not it which is fine because it does claim to say it's got a satin matte finish and i do see that like it does have a matte finish i'm just really surprised at how pigmented that is with those small little three dots that i've applied and the thing is because it's actually quite matte 
I feel like I don't even need to apply a powder blush. Blushes do tend to disappear on my skin anyway. Like my skin just goes blush and literally just sucks the life out of it. I'm just gonna do three big ones. What in the world? <laughs> I'm really, really surprised how pigmented that is. Because once again, the other cream blushes that I have in my collection, they're on like a sheer side. So you have the tendency that you have to apply a few applications to build it up to, you know, the capacity that you want on your skin. But this is literally three dots and that's all I need. But I'm gonna quickly do my base off camera, just to save time and then get back to you guys very shortly. Okay guys, so this is the final completed look. This went very basic. So for bronzer, cause I did add a powder bronzer, I used the Fenty Beauty bronzer, but I actually used the shade Mokomami, which I haven't used that shade in quite some time now. So I used that. Um, lipstick, I use a combination of the Morphe lip liner in the shade Trendsetter and my Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Game Night, which is broken. She broke on me. I can't remember the last time I had a bullet lipstick that actually snapped. And then to set my face, I used the e.l.f. Coconut Dewy Setting Spray because you guys know. <laughs> I love me the dewy girl. I didn't add any powder blush. On the subject of the blushes, these are amazing. I'm definitely gonna pick up another one in the Cherry Cola. These are so pigmented, you're not really gonna go through these blushes as quickly like the other blush. The only pet peeve that I have with, with this packaging, because even though it is a really nice packaging and it's different, because of the material of the lid, it will slightly get stained and I just hate dirty makeup i just hate packaging that looks filthy you know sometimes it can't be helped but that's just the only thing but the pigmentation the formula the way it blends the pigmentation i cannot get over that word but it is so pigmented i was literally shook to the point that for me to not apply a powder blush girl i'm telling you like i am shook only thing about someone like myself that does like a little bit of a dewy look especially when i am normal to dry that this has like a proper matte powder finish but it can be manipulated and i feel like with the combination of the setting spray it's pretty much well the setting spray is going to make my face look a little bit more hydrating anyway now for the bronzers i'm really happy that he came out with eight bronzers and i am actually really impressed of this shade it's so beautiful it's so lightweight and creamy but not creamy to the point that it's heavy. It's just got this lightweight, soft, like, oh, it, I don't know how to explain it, but it literally, look at that, it literally just blends and melts. Once again, this will probably last you for a while because a little does go a long way. It does give me a little bit of a vibe of the thick mint from Fenty. Not just shade, but the undertone because it's not warm, but it's not cool tone. It does come across a little bit more neutral. So that's the only thing where I was a little bit surprised because like from the shade, it looks quite warm, but when you blend it out, she doesn't look that warm. I am so happy I picked them up. Like, I'm really happy because sometimes when you do get makeup and they don't perform the way you want it to perform, it's like a waste of money, but you guys let me know what you think. But yeah, this is the beat girl and this is what we got going on. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I will leave all the details in the description box below as per usual. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. Step on the tune like Big up my sisters